Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading, and in today's video, I want to walk you through what's called a mental model, which in this case will help you to think about and understand trading in a way that you never have before. I honestly think this might be one of the most valuable videos that I've ever built for the channel, so please don't skip through this. Uh, watch it from start to finish, and I'm sure that for some of you, this is going to be a key turning point in your development as a trader. It, it, it really is. And just very quickly, uh, before we dive in today, if you are struggling with your trading or you'd like to know more about how mechanical edges are traded, I've actually put together a free video course for you that will map out and explain everything in detail, along with walking you through exactly how mechanical worlds actually work. If you'd like to watch that after this video, I'll pop a link to that in the description. and You can click through and watch that straight away. Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the free content that we share with the trading community here on YouTube. Okay, so firstly, <laughs> what the hell's bells am I talking about when I say a mental model, right? If you've never heard of a mental model before, simply put, it's a way of thinking about a problem or seeing a problem from a new perspective. Let, let me give you an example. So the one that actually uh, really inspired me to make this video for you all today. Now, I recently sat down with a mentor of mine to run through a few of my personal goals with him. Okay, one being health and focus and, you know, eating properly, drinking enough water, sleeping properly and so on. And as I was telling him about all of my, my plans, he paused me for a second and just said, Will, you're making this way too complex. Think about it in this way instead. And then he started walking me through the mental model that I'm actually about to share with you today, which is this. Reverse your problem. Okay, uh, let me give you an example. So my mentor said to me, look, Will, instead of thinking I'll do this to get healthier, I'll do that to get fitter and all of that stuff, think what would you need to do to actually get fat? So to, to sleep less well, become more unhealthy, and become less focused and just feel terrible, right? So I said to him, well, I can eat fast food more regularly, right? I can drink more alcohol, uh, drink more sugary drinks, I can drink less water, I can stop exercising, all of that stuff, right? And this is where the real breakthrough came for, for me personally. See, I've actually realized now it's easier to think about what would stop you getting to a goal than it actually is to plan for success in many cases. But let's turn this back around to why you are here, back to, to trading, right? Let me ask you this. What would you need to do to actually fail as a trader? What would you need to do to lose money, right? Pause this video for just a second and let me know in the comments section below. Again, what would you need to do to actually fail as a trader? Now, let's think about this together, okay? One thing that you could do to lose money would be to not manage risk, okay? To change how much you risk on every trade. So risk 1% on this trade, 2% on this trade, half a percent on this trade, and just, just pretty much completely guess, right? That'd be one way to sabotage your profitability. Another thing that you could do to lose money is to constantly jump into trades without a true framework, without a strategy, without a plan, right? Or constantly react with emotion and, you know, snatch at small wins, yet take full size losses that then draw your account balance right backwards and into the red, instead of pushing it forwards and into the green. Right. That would be another surefire way to sabotage your profitability or yet another way to lose money would be to trade a strategy without having statistical proof that it actually works. Because without concrete mathematical proof that your strategy works and actually provides an edge of the market, again, going back to my last point, you'll almost certainly react with emotion when trading it, right? Because you haven't been able to physically see, physically check and verify that the strategy truly offers profitable performance, right? Or another thing that you could do to lose money uh, would be to trade a strategy that's actually just way too complex to even be executed properly, executed consistently, right? And I actually had a call with a struggling trader last week who shared his strategy with me and, and honestly, phew, you, you wouldn't believe me if I told you what he was actually doing. I'll, I'll give you a quick summary, okay, but basically he would look at 
four or five different time frames all at once. He'd mark two or three different levels. He'd then draw some boxes around certain specific candles. He'd wait for a pullback into one of those areas, come down to two other time frames, wait for a trend change. Honestly, I, I swear to you, I'm being completely serious here. And that's not even the whole extent of the strategy either. I mean, God, no wonder the poor guy was losing money right now. Thankfully, he's joined us as a client. Uh, and since then, and after actually seeing how simple our mechanical rules are, he just couldn't believe it. You know, when, when he saw that all we do is open up a specific market, wait for either one certain candlestick to form or one certain price point to trigger, and then we just take the trade, place a stop loss at X, place a profit target at Y, and just walk away, backed up by almost a decade of statistical proof that he could actually come back through to see, check, and verify that the set of rules worked and provided an edge. It, it was like it was like I'd just shown him running water for the first time in his life. He was he was just absolutely blown away when he realised that all of the analysis and the jumping across time frames, marking this level, drawing this box, and so on, were just all completely irrelevant. And all he needed was to follow pretty much five different rules inside of about an hour a day at the same time every day to consistently make money over time. And maybe you're the same, maybe you're still trying to trade using all of that, that fluff, you know, all of that unnecessary complexity and so on. And if so, I'd suggest, again, just like he did, uh, getting rid of it all and just stripping trading back to a set of mechanical rules as soon as possible so that you can experience that same revelation. Now, uh, coming back to my point here, uh, now that we know the things that actually cause a trader to lose money, right, like we've just discussed, let's turn them on their head, okay, and see where that actually leaves us. So if we know that not managing risk and varying our position sizing at random is going to lead us to lose money, then we know how, we know to do the opposite, right? We know that to make money, we have to keep risk consistent, whether that's 1% uh, or 2% of your account or more than that or less than that, Keep your risk consistent so that your results and, and your trade outcomes are therefore consistent too. That's, that's really important. Uh, next, if we know that jumping in and out of trades without a true framework, without a proven strategy with clear rules to follow is going to lead us to lose money, uh, or that reacting with emotion and snatching at small wins but taking full-size losses is going to lead us to lose money, uh, then we know again to do the opposite of both. Right. Uh, we know that to make money, we have to have a true framework, a proven strategy, uh, a plan, clear, statistically proven rules to follow. Right. And we know that to make money, we have to remove emotion entirely right? so that we can just let our wins get to target so that we take proper full size wins, don't we? And finally, uh, if we know that having way too much complexity and, and uh, having any kind of guesswork or, or discretion really involved within our strategy leads to self-sabotage and overwhelm. Again, we know to do the opposite. We know that to make money, we have to get rid of the complexity, uh, get rid of the guesswork, and get rid of the discretion altogether. And again, uh, if you're doing something that isn't working, turn it on its head, reverse it, do the opposite, uh, and use the mental model that I've just handed over to make the change and to get the result that you're truly seeking. Anyway, I hope that helps, uh, and I'll see you back here next time.